Hey gang, this is Maria from HockeyTrainingPro.com and RevolutionConditioning.com. I'm back down at Pete Sports with my friend Chris, and today we're talking Kevlar, baby. So, um, Chris, you know, it, it ha it's happened, it seems to be happening with more frequency, and it happened again this season. Somebody gets stomped on um, and ends up really cutting themselves, hurting themselves really, really badly on the ice. So, um, you have a pair of Kevlar socks there. Can you just tell me a little bit about them and... and do they work and you know are people starting to use these more and more and maybe what are some of the downsides to wearing these because to me it sort of seems like it would be a no-brainer yeah uh, this is one of the things that uh, came out about five years ago when one of the first Montreal Canadiens got cut in the Achilles tendon and it takes him obviously away from the ice it's really serious it's life-threatening um, so Kevlar has been put into skate socks now so it still has the dry fit foot which will absorb yeah. moisture it's tight it gives you a good feel in the skate and then from the heel up is all a kevlar pattern which is um, cut resistant i guess for lack of a better word yeah. so if you're wearing these you'll still feel the brunt of some force whether it be a stick or a skate blade but you won't be cut so it's a really big safety um, um, application to hockey and skating um, actually minor hockey is talking about making these mandatory for every kid every child every everybody who's playing yeah. to wear one of these in minor hockey so it's it's a new product but it, you know it, it gets way more press a ton of press when somebody in the NHL gets hurt um, we hear of stories on a weekly basis where somebody gets cut not to the severity of what happened this year with the Ottawa player but people are people who go barefoot have started to grab these. Um, the only downside to this is it's a little thicker and people who might be a heavy sweater or have very sensitive skin can sometimes uh, don't feel as comfortable wearing a sock like this. So it's, it's sort of give and take, but from a safety aspect, it's a great piece. Yeah, so do some, some people find it um, too warm or maybe a little bit itchy? What do they, what do they feel with that? Yeah, once they start to sweat and they get hot midway through the game, they might find it a little itchy. And you don't ever want to wear two socks, so you don't want to wear something underneath this. I know some players are wearing a core or a tight base layer pant, and then they'll put this over top of it. But once again, now you're adding more heat. Yeah. Um, moisture's not escaping through the body properly. So some people find it uncomfortable. Uh, more of the older guys like me, I guess you could say. But young kids, well, you know, if you just start this way, it's a great way to go, and it's safe for sure. Yeah. What would a pair of socks like that cost typically? Uh, they they start uh, around the twenty nine dollar range for a pair, so it's it's reasonably yeah. priced. Yeah. Um, it's not quite as cheap as some of the thinny socks, but uh, for safety, you get what you pay for. And and Kevlar is the strongest. Uh, material going right now it's what they use in the Kevlar vest for police officers right. so it is protective so it's a great piece and it's not overly expensive yeah yeah that's a really good price point now so some of the manufacturers um, that are making undergarments and and um, socks they're kind of starting to think hey how can we work this in and make it more comfortable so that they could there be more compliant so that um, these this is an Under Armour tight but you told me that they're gonna be doing something kind of cool yeah, starting next year, Under Armour is taking their base layer tight or their core piece and from the back of the knee down, they're adding a Kevlar fabric to mirror the image of the sock. So people who want to skate barefoot, people who still want to wear just a really thin sock, they can have this go down into their skate from ankle up, you won't even notice it, and it'll have the protection of the Kevlar from the knee down. So it's pretty innovative. It makes a ton of sense. Yeah, that's a, that's a perfect idea. Um, anything else that you've heard other other people doing you were telling me that maybe some of the trainers will sew kevlar into the into just the regular hockey sock yeah the uh some of the junior a trainers some of the pro trainers that i've heard from are taking sheets of kevlar or fabric that uh, is cut resistant and sewing them into the game sock so that's allowing all the players to still wear their base layer uh protective to pull moisture away and keep them you know cool they're wearing a normal sock or no hockey sock if they've grown up like that so now their outer hockey sock which comes right down over the tendon guard has a protective kevlar uh, layer to it to you know help them from any skate injuries yeah that sounds cool i mean I'd, probably any day i'd trade a, a bruise for a gash <laughs> so um it's neat to see you know people working that in and making compliance easier this is maria from hockeytrainingpro.com and revolutionconditioning.com with my friend chris down at pete sports happy training